Great Britain has a collection of varied landscapes and countryside to rival anywhere else in the world. And the best way to see it is to walk. And we are here to provide some ideas and inspiration. We are the team at Walks Around Britain and we've been discovering some of the most interesting and varied short walks from the Highlands of Scotland to the Channel Islands. We've been there discovering the best walking Britain has to offer. If you thought walking was just about mountains, then think again. We've got walks in the countryside, along water and the coast, through woodlands and forests, up fells and hills, around historic buildings and our industrial past, and not forgetting walks through our towns and cities. Walks to do by yourself, in a group, or with your family, be they the human or canine kind. Along the way, we'll be telling fascinating stories about the landscape, its people and its history. It's all designed to get you out and inspired to experience it for yourselves. Welcome to Walks Around Britain. Hello and you're very welcome to another edition of Walks Around Britain. Now on today's programme for our walks between 2 and 8 miles, we're in Lincolnshire and in Nottinghamshire. Haxey in Lincolnshire is the destination later in the programme, but first it's a visit to Daneshill Lakes near Torworth in Nottinghamshire. The walk starts in the car park of Daneshill Lakes and circles around the South Lake and then to the North Lake before returning back to the car park. It's an easy walk of two and three quarter miles and should take around an hour. So whilst I get the dogs out of the car, I'll let my co-presenter Olivia explain about Danes Hill Lakes. Danes Hill Lakes Local Nature Reserve it was created in the 1980s and has two distinct parts. You have those two, hold on tight, I'll get my seat. Once upon a time, this whole area was a commercial gravel extraction pit, which was reclaimed under a project by Nottinghamshire County Council. Despite these seemingly dubious origins, the site is now a thriving local nature reserve managed by Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust. The Northern Lake, which we'll see in a bit, is a wooded, secluded area managed especially for wildlife. Whereas the Southern Lake is the more open and popular one. This is a mecca for lovers of water sports and all manner of craft can be seen in action on the lake.
so there's plenty to take photographs of. Including some fantastic wildlife. The lakes are really close to the East Coast Main Line and when you're travelling between London and Edinburgh you'll know exactly when you're passing Danes Hill Lakes thanks to these signs signifying the Scottish capital is 250 miles to the north. There are many of these information boards dotted around the lakes, which are perfect for children to discover. Around the east side of the South Lake is a large area of wetlands. It's a large area of wetlands, home to a range of wildlife. Now this was once the site of the Ranskill Royal Ordnance Factory, which employed over 4,000 people to produce 300 tonnes of cordite a week during World War II. So now we're walking through the car park to get to the North Lake. which means crossing over Danes Hill Road. Straight away, there's a different feel to this area. The paths are surfaced so there are no steep gradients here to worry about for the mobility impaired and there are ways of bypassing those narrow gates. If you're lucky, you could see good numbers of willow warblers, white throat and blackcap during the summer and in the winter you could spot a siskin or a gold crest. The bramble and the gorse attract many species of invertebrates, including butterflies like the common blue, meadow brown 
and ringlet. This area is also great for spotting damselflies and dragonflies. Shaded and secluded, this is a special place. And then it's back to the car park. So a lovely walk there around Danes Hill Lakes with Olivia and the dogs. And the dogs join me again after the break when we go to Haxey in Lincolnshire. Welcome back. Now it's to Lincolnshire with a walk around the village of Haxey with all my dogs. It's around three and a quarter miles and should take about an hour and a quarter. So from the car park behind the church, the walk drops down Church Lane before reaching the nearby village of Graysland, returning by Graysland Fields Road and then a section along an old railway line completes the walk. Today I've got three very eager doggies for this walk, my Merlin, Mac and Misty. Now despite being in Lincolnshire, Haxey is actually closer to the Yorkshire town of Doncaster than its county town of Lincoln. And historically, Haxey was always the capital of the area called the Isle of Haxholme. This is Haxey's rather imposing parish church dedicated to St Nicholas. It originates from the 12th and 13th century and the tower has almost a castle-like embattled parapet on the top. So it's known locally as the Minster of the Isles because it's the largest church on the Isle of Axo. The building is Grade 1 listed because of its architectural importance. The walk turns left here to follow Church Lane. The Isle of Axome is the name given to the area surrounding Haxey and the nearby villages of Epworth, Crowell, Santoft and Ouston Ferry. It's so named as originally each village was built on areas of dry raised ground in what was otherwise marshland. In fact, Axholm itself means island by Haxey from the Old Norse. To the south, the power stations of Cottam and West Burton in the Lower Trent Valley can clearly be seen. Up to the mid-1980s, 13 coal-fired power stations here generated up to a quarter of the electricity for England and Wales, earning the area the nickname Megawatt Valley. The mania for railway building in the late 1800s also took hold in the Isle of Axome, with the opening of a joint railway between Goole in the north and the Doncaster and Gainsborough line in the south. The first part of the line opened in 1900, but it didn't last too long, and by 1972, the last bit of it still in use, to Cade Big Power Station, was finally closed. Here we're walking underneath the old railway track bed. Through this field there isn't a made footpath, but it's clear which way the path goes. Now we have to cross over the A161 Haxi Lane, 
which can be quite busy, so care is needed here. We're now in the small village of Graysland, which has some beautiful buildings to admire, before turning left along Graysland Fields Road to return to Haxey. So if the Isle of Axone was once mainly water and marshland, where is all the water now? Well the whole area was drained on the instructions of King Charles I in 1626 by the Dutchman Cornelius Vermudin, primarily to make more hunting land on the King's estate at Hatfield Chase. Just on the corner of Low Street is Hax's War Memorial, unveiled in 1928 to commemorate locals lost in World War I and subsequently World War II. And just over the road is Hax's Pinfold, which acted like a pound for stray animals. The parish of Haxey actually has four pinfolds, which are still maintained. After the Methodist Church, we turn right onto the old railway track bed. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 careful. Remember the countryside code, leave all gates as you found them. Yeah? Okay. This is doing a poo. Which is quite fortunate here, as there's a dog waste bin just as you enter. This area is very popular for dog walking as it's enclosed on both sides. On warm days such as this, it's important to keep your dogs hydrated. Well done. Misty, want to drink, sweetie? Although Misty doesn't seem to be too bothered. Misty! The land of the old line is now managed by North Lincolnshire Council as a footpath and nature trail between Haxey 
and nearby Epworth. We're not going that far today and it's left here to walk back to the car park behind the church. After a very pleasant walk. So, a lovely walk on the flat there in Lincolnshire. And if you want any information about that walk or any other walks that we do in our series, you can find them on our website, walksaroundbritain.co.uk. And if you've got any photos or videos that you'd like to share with us, you can do that on social media. Our addresses are on screen now. But until next time, thanks for watching and happy walking.